Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, hopefully you've been enjoying seeing some of my shorts I've posted. But I thought it'd be time to make a video, and this is a fun one where I painted on top of an old painting. So this that you're seeing right here is going to turn into this new painting, and I sanded it down and just painted right on top of it. So when I started this painting, I was in the mood to just let loose and see where it took me. So I had an image that I really liked, and I just wanted to paint quickly and expressive and... I did not do a lot of planning, so as you can see, I just sort of did a very, very rough lay-in of where the shapes would be, and then just start, got right in to like super juicy, expressive paint. Basically, my thought process was I'm going to like go a little crazy with it in the beginning and then refine it later on and try to like make sure things weren't too out of control later on. Sometimes I feel like if I go really fast, I can like move quicker than my brain can analyze it. So then I like bypass like the overcritical side of my brain. And then I end up with like sort of unique results that I might not have been able to get to if I was going a little bit slower. So it's sort of a give and take. You're losing accuracy, but you're getting interesting shapes and textures and colors that I, I don't think are possible to get if you're being too analytical. So I guess it just depends on what you want to go for. If you want this very expressive look, it's an interesting thing to play with. Once you get to this stage where I'm like painting the lips and like sort of refining the eyes and stuff, it gets to a point where you're you are sort of switching from that fast moving um, instinctual painting to a more analytical painting. And I think you have to then just start taking like the foundation of what you had and doing little minor refinements to make it look a little bit more interesting. And I think if it's too unrefined, it just looks sloppy. So you have to sort of take the sloppiness that you started with and bring it back down to reality. For me, it feels like I can only do this type of painting if I start off that way, if I start off um, loose. If I start tight, I feel like it's very hard for me to take a painting and uh, be expressive. It just doesn't work going the other direction. Because like the more you paint, the the more paint you put on the panel, you sort of have less and less options as you move forward. So you're refining and refining. And to get those colorful, expressive, juicy, crazy marks, you need to do that when you have the most options available. There are definitely times where I do this style and it just doesn't work. It's too... Um, like the the accuracy is too far off or like it, I, I should have spent more time drawing to get the proportions right. So it does not always work. And if things are too off, it's like unsalvageable. This one obviously isn't um, like the eyes and stuff. They're a little bit big and like maybe not perfectly proportioned but I think it's close enough to where it worked and it sort of had the right like movement and flow but there are times where you sort of start off crazy and it gets too far removed from reality. Oh another thing is I've done this where I paint on an old on top of like an old painting many times and there is something very freeing about that also that I don't really understand. Something about it being a used panel that I might have just thrown away versus a, a nice clean blank white panel. It makes it less precious maybe. And it makes me feel like maybe more playful. Like I can just do whatever I want. Alright guys, I think that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about my process, feel free to leave a comment. Um, I'll try to answer any questions you might have about 
my paintings. And please subscribe, and I'll see you again for the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.